All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Got good old Tim back in the video. What's up, man? What's up, buddy? You ready for this? Let's do it. All right, guys. Today we're doing a comparison video. We're doing Budweiser and Pub Beer from Tin Barrel. They're both owned by Budweiser, so we thought, hey, they're both loggers. Let's compare the flavor here and see if there's any resemblance from Pub to Budweiser. Could be the start of a new comparison series, so... Look out for that. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Make sure you give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe. And uh, let's get into it, all right? So uh, let's go. Let's do this. Which one are we trying first? Uh, we're going to do pub beer first. But first, editor, roll that intro. Roll it. Welcome back, everybody. Here we are, the Pub Beer and Budweiser. We're about to compare the two flavors here, or I'm sorry, they're not flavors. Compare the two lagers and see if there's any resemblance since they're both owned by the same company. And this one, guys, Pub Beer, is very, very popular right now. Uh, we can barely keep this on the shelf, yeah. um, especially at certain stores, and it's it's a nice, cheap uh, it is, beer. It is on a great deal right now, especially locally, probably. Yes. Probably all around. Yeah, uh, it's like 13 14 dollars for an 18 pack of color beer. $12.99. Yeah, $12.99. So you can't go wrong with the low price for an 18 pack of a good lager. Now, I've tried this, it's been a while since I've had a pub beer. Tim, on the other hand, you have not tried this, have you? I have not. In comparisons, already off the bat, this pub is, is 5%. 5% alcohol in this one, and Budweiser is in at 5%, uh, so they're both five. Both fives. So all right off the bat, or you have, have a similarity there. I was thinking more like usually like the normal lobbies are four point something, but right. I did know they're both five, because yes. I haven't checked them out. Yeah, so they're both at 5% right off the bat. Now, Budweiser is brewed differently with the beech wood, um, but this came out after you know, not long ago actually, so we want to see if maybe Tim Burrell used some, uh, some of their own uh, special exactly. sauces. Maybe use something similar. So, all right, Tim, let's go ahead and dive right in with the first one. It's pub beer. It's just a regular lager in a regular looking can. Mm. That's a scent. It smells so nice. good. Here we go. Look at that. I got a nice rich color. You know, we should open you up. You are leaking all I over the table. I'm making a freaking <laughs> mess over here. Let's Someone see. forgot how to pour beer. Uh, I think it's this can. <laughs> well, oh, shit. It's probably the person pouring the can, too. So. Well, we found out one thing. I can't pour a beer. <laughs> all right, so there's that. You know what? I'm going to get another cup so we can compare some color here. All right. I should have thought about that earlier. Check that out. Oh, you wait. Wait there, guys. Beautiful golden. <laughs> yeah, you're bad at porn, man. You got so much beer wasted. I know. I'm a, I'm a giant mess right now. All right, here we go. Party foul. Open up the Budweiser. We're going to pour it in a glass and compare the colors here. Right off the bat, pub beer is a lot darker in color. Look at the head on the bud, though. All right, so I poured that one without spilling everywhere. Yay. Look at Tim and his perfection. Hello, Tim. You should be a bartender, girl. All right, look at that. Look at the color difference, guys. So we got Pub Beer, it's a much darker yellow, and then we got Budweiser at a very... It's a lot more clear. Very clear, so. All right. Especially when you're comparing the two. So that, that tells me that Pub's a little more a little, it's a little thicker. It's got a little more body to it. More body. Yeah. More body. All right, Tim, let's drink That's some. What the ladies like. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, let's drink cool. some pub beer. Here we go. The first one out of the two. It's got a bite to it. It's got a little. You know what I mean? It's got a bite. Like, why would you drink it? Get those that. That hops, that, uh, oh, I think it's more malt, malty. 
in, yeah. a, in a lager. It's not, definitely not, I wouldn't say hops like an IPA bite, but it's got no. that bite to it, but it's, it's nice and smooth. It is, good. it is pretty smooth. Um, so it's a real good, easy drinking, smooth lager already. Uh, the Breckenridge lager that we I just did a video on not long ago, that's a very harsh lager. Uh, this is a lot more smooth than the Breck lager that uh, that we had. But uh, what do you think? I like it. It's nice, smooth. It's got good flavor. And oh, there's a fly trying to drink my Budweiser. Get out of there! Oh damn! Look at the head he's still got on you. I know the head on this thing is still massive. <laughs> I think, uh, I think somebody needs to relearn how to pour. <laughs> yeah, well, our next video will be how to pour a beer. <laughs> Not with right me. With <laughs> All right, now onto the Budweiser. Right. Let's see what the flavor is as we compare the two. Compare Here you go. Budweiser, everybody. Cheers. very refreshing, but it's, I feel like the pub beer is a lot a lighter flavor. It is a lot of flavor. A lighter flavor. Light, yeah. I, if I, if I was drinking lagers, I would have to choose the pub. Yeah. I, it's definitely way more flavor. Like, let, let's go back into it. So this is the pub beer. It definitely has a, a more caramely melt malt. It definitely gives you that strong bite at the beginning, but then it's just smooth going down and it's super flavorful. Whereas the Bud Light, or Bud Light, I almost called it Bud Light. <laughs> Dude, it's light, it's light as a so Budweiser in there. <laughs> but yeah, it, it reminds me more of a Bud Light with just a little more flavor, I guess, because they are. You mean the Bud, Bud, the Bud Budweiser? Light. Yeah. I said it reminds me more of a Bud Light. I was just going to say that. And, because yeah, it's it's got, it doesn't have as much flavor as the Pub. It's got a lot of flavor though. It's more sweet, kind of a sweet malty flavor, whereas the pub beer is more heavier, uh, just a brute more, hey, I'm a lager. Yeah. But it's not as harsh as you, as some other lagers that I've had. Yeah. Um, it's definitely the, yeah. I would, uh, but otherwise it's definitely smoother and, but it's got a lot of flavor still and it's lighter. Mm -hmm. But this one's got a lot more body to it and it's more flavorful. I would say even more flavorful. And yeah, first time ever drinking pub. And I gotta say, yeah. I really like it. <laughs> Still, we got a lot more caramel, a lot more malt compared. To, and you can see it in the color as well. The Budweiser is very clear, uh, very light color, whereas the pub beer is a more uh, dark. More dark color and just looks a little lot more heavy, a lot heavier. I could talk right then, but uh, <laughs> all right, so we're getting off to a great start. Oh, yeah, all right, Tim. So, which one do you think is the better logger between these two? Well, Budweiser is the classic, and the pub's it's the king the new, of beer, by the, the new way. beer on the, on the block. But if I had to, if I had to go for it, if I was at a bar and they had both. I would probably go with the pub. As much as you know, I'll drink a Budweiser. I kind of like the the heavier, the, the more flavor. Yeah. Of a pub. And yeah, I can see uh, why it's selling so good because it's it's really good beer good. for being as cheap as it is right now. Um, it's it's really it's got a lot of flavor to it, and it's just a good solid lager so let us know down in the comments which one of these beers is you guys like Budweiser or pub and if you haven't tried pub beer yet go out to your local store and find a case and buy it because I'm telling you right now if you like lagers uh, pub beer is a really good lager and it took pub beer a while to catch on especially around here uh, I think people were kind of yeah, they, uh, they held back sure. just because it's just a plain look at the can it's just a plain the, can the packaging is just a plain white package that has black lettering saying pub beer yeah picture of the can on it whereas Budweiser's 
been Probably around wise. for a while. And you know that knows. red case, that red label. Pub's more generic, but the thing about Ten Barrel is they don't want to be flashy. They want the beer to speak for them, and I'll tell you what, the, this beer is definitely speaking for it, because this is some good it stuff. It is. I definitely agree. Now, I just lost what I was going to say. Uh, I guess you could say Pub Beer is the prince of beers. Budweiser yeah. is the king of beers. Oh, We've got the new, a new sheriff in town, Tim. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely coming up. It's good. So, uh, yeah, good job, Tin Barrel. Uh, keep it up. I hope they keep the same simple can. Um, and also, another thing that helped this beer take off is I switched over to 18 packs for this instead of keeping it in the small six packs um, that it used to come. It used to come in just six packs. And uh, they recently, this year actually, I think, uh, they switched over to 18 packs. So now you can get the, an 18 pack of this for, like I said, $12, $14. They also used to only do six packs of the 12 ounce cans, and now they're doing 16 ounce Oh, that's right, they're doing 16 ounce cans as well. And you can get them in 25 ounce cans. So if you just want to try one, go get your 25 ounce can and uh, give it a try. Definitely, definitely recommend the try. Yeah, it's worth it. It's good. So if you're a lager person, guys, go try pub beer. It's just a good old regular beer, and it's really, really good. But anyways, that's it for our Budweiser versus pub beer. Kind of a try to find a comparison there. There's really nothing to compare because they're really two different lagers. Um, I thought there was going to be a little more, uh, you know, resemblance there. But, you know, Budweiser is brewed completely different with beech wood and the way they brew it it's, it's very different and uh, the only beer that is able to use beech wood too exactly that is true it's kind of patented and then you got pub beer um, which is pretty much brewed completely different it's got a whole nother flavor going on and so there's really no comparison so if you like Budweiser there's your bud if you like pub if you want to try another lager try pub just got a different flavor it's got a whole different profile going on uh, just in the color alone you can see that so uh, yeah definitely a a cool video here to do, trying to compare two lagers. Uh, we might try to do this again, maybe with light beers or IPAs, maybe to get the top, the top nice selling one. Comparison video, kind of like our blind taste test we've done. That was a good uh, one. Where we could not tell the difference of what was what and failed completely. If you want to see that, I'll post but, a link down below. Go hey, watch it. Maybe we'll <laughs> fail again. So keep a lookout. I kind of want to do a heft comparison video. Do a couple hefts or a uh, good amber lager. Amber lagers, those are really good. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, well, things in the works, basically. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. All right, everyone. All right. That's it for this video, guys. Stay tuned. We got another one coming up. It's going to be fun. Like. We got more beer coming out. So uh, definitely stay, stay subscribed and keep drinking. Make sure you're 21, though. Yeah. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Right here, you're a designated driver. Exactly. All right, guys, we'll see you 